Let the blessing of our Lord rest upon each and every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to the house of God. And I'm thankful that we're here together. And we'll worship the glorious name of Jesus Christ our Lord. And for that reason, I'll request that we start with prayer. Praise to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. How pleasant it is to sit with the people of God and to praise God. And today we believe that we are together through the Holy Spirit. And we want to look at the Word of God today. When you want to be close with the Lord. So that you may have communion with Jesus Christ. To have anointing from the Holy Spirit upon you. For that reason, you must devote your time to the Lord. To put it this way, you must pay a price. And what is that price? Your hours must be given to the Lord. Especially your pleasant time. Not your tired times. But your fresh moments. This is important for every single one of us. Because when we give our fresh moments to the Lord, we feel better about ourselves. We feel more fresh. And when we hear the voice of the Lord, it becomes more wisdom and more knowledge. Because when we're tired, we fall asleep. We must hear the voice of the Lord, but oftentimes we fall asleep. And let us come today and look. That the Lord waits for us. In the same way that the Word of God says. The Word word of God says that the Lord stands at the door of your heart and He knocks. When you open up, I will come in. As in the Lord today waits for me and for you. We must be ready to hear the voice of the Lord. Because when we hear in that moment, there is a change that happens. So that in order for us to have anointing today, I want to look at Psalm chapter 45 and verse 7. The word of God says, you love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions. So when does that anointing come upon us? This verse says, when you love righteousness. When we love the truth. When we speak on righteousness and truth. That refers to Jesus Christ. Here it says you love righteousness and hated wickedness. That means just like Joseph ran away from sin, you run away from sin. And 
And in that moment, the Lord anoints you with the anointing of gladness. <laughs> And it's written in this verse that he will anoint you more than your friends, your companions. As in, in your ministry. Many will look and say, how is it that you have this anointing? They will begin to look at your life. So that anointing arrives when we love righteousness and hate wickedness. And I want to remind you that in that time, the Lord will anoint you more than your companions with that anointing of gladness. God does not withhold anything back from us. He waits for us to open our heart before His throne of mercy. And the keys to receiving this anointing are things that I want to talk about this evening. We should understand one thing, that the Lord loves us above himself. God has called us in order for him to anoint us. So that you can be a, an individual that is anointed and filled with the fire of the Holy Spirit. And that you may always represent the Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ. And in every situation, you will be glad of Jesus Christ. You will not look at the physical or what the situation holds in heart. Even in difficulties and trials, you will glorify Jesus Christ. God from heaven sees your patience and you glorifying him. But there are times where God wants to actually see, do you love him? And we see that in the book of Genesis. When the Lord told Abraham to sacrifice his own son Isaac, I want to remind you shortly. When Abraham placed Isaac on the sacrificing altar, and he raised the sword so he can sacrifice his son, the angel said the following Abraham, Abraham do not touch the child. And God says, Now I know that you love me. So for us to receive that anointing today, we must show our contentment and our faithfulness, our righteousness, which comes from the grace of Jesus Christ, not from us. When we're close with the Lord, we walk in the paths of righteousness. In reality, there is no righteousness in us. But when we see good things, we're partakers of good things in our life. That comes through the Spirit of God in us. When you are anointed, from the Holy Spirit. When you walk on the road. The word of God says. Pour the anointing on Aaron. And I want to explain this. With this example to you. When the anointing upon Aaron was flowing on him and pouring. 
The Bible says that the oil flowed from his beard to his clothing and all the way to the floor. So that when Aaron began to walk, you would see on his footprints that there was oil dripping. As in, there was a footprint that was evident so we could walk after that. The, the oil would flow off of his clothing and you would see it. So you should be an individual like this in Jesus' name. I want to remind you again that there is a need for you to walk in the path of righteousness. And you will run away from sin so much. How, how much do you think? The Bible says stay away from sin according to spilling blood to that measure. And there are times that the Lord looks at your life. In those times, do you run away or do you give space for sin? Our, our body is from dust and it only knows those things that are of dust. But we will stand before the Lord in spirit. Come and let us surrender our spirits to Jesus Christ. We read Psalm 84 verse 11. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will He withhold from those who walk uprightly. Whenever I say as we there are a bahane, I see a main match. Sur poki nusaburu me mes. And in this place, it says that God is sun and He is glory, sun and a shield. And He enlightens us. Yeh kas nederit aspas pahume bolu me the bahane nujama na kervat. And the Lord is a shield. So he keeps us away from those arrows of the enemy. It also says that the Lord will give grace to those who walk uprightly with the Lord. Do you want to be filled with the grace of God? As in to be filled with those nine gifts of the Spirit. Do I You today have need of the Holy Spirit. So that you may walk in the ways of the Lord faithfully. At all times you should say no to sin. You could say to the, to the sin, you have come here with a wrong address. I know more kids who are getting I say go. You, you could say that person who has sent you has sent you to the wrong address. Go. So what do we do? We give space for righteousness in our life. I want to remind you of one other verse. In, in Chapter 7, verses 13. Be aware and see what the Lord says to you. The Lord says, Woe to them, for they have fled from me. Destruction to them. Because they have transgressed against me. The Lord says, though I redeemed them, yet they have spoken lies against me. 
So let us be aware and be careful and see what the Lord says. If until now you have not given time to be in communion with the Holy Spirit, you can think and say that you are so busy you don't have time. And if you don't have time with the Lord, all your works will be unsuccessful. Success is with the Holy Spirit. When you are a close individual with the Lord, all the works of your hand will be blessed. When Jacob went to his uncle's house to work, the Bible reminds us that because of Jacob's presence, God blessed his uncle's house. Jacob was a reason of blessing in that house. Joseph was a reason of blessing in that rich man's house, in prison, and in the kingdom. There was blessings that was coming upon Joseph because of the Lord. When you live with the Lord, you have anointing upon you. Your family will be anointed. Those around you will be anointed. Your pastorly ministry will be anointed with the miracles of the Holy Spirit. The Lord will do great miracles through you. And come, let us point our eyes upon Jesus Christ today. And let us say, Lord, put a thirst and a willingness towards you in me. So that in every moment I might thirst for you, Lord. To the will to enter into your courts, Lord. Because when we will to be with the Lord, God satisfies our thirst and fills us with his living water. And he anoints us with his oil. Our mind and our heart become different. Our mentality, our speech, and all our conduct becomes spiritual. How incredible is it for us to live in that way? where the Lord will be glorified. And in the same way that the Lord told Abraham, now I understood that you love me with all your heart. Let us allow the Lord to say the same towards us. And to say to us, Congratulations, my faithful and beloved servant, enter into my father's rest. In Hosea, we read that the Lord calls and he, uh, he takes us in as children. He fills an individual with the Holy Spirit. But there are those who leave all that and they go after their own ways again. From what I remember in Isaiah 43, it says you must forget the things of the past. There must always be a renewing in your life. And that renewing, that new, 
should pour out of your life. That is the Spirit of God that flows out of you. And if you don't put a, uh, a wall in front of that Spirit, he is a living water that will flow out of you. But we can block that flow. Or we can roll that stone over. So that that uh, river of water that's living will flow out of us. We read Hebrews chapter 3, verses 7 and 8. see, Therefore, as the Holy Spirit says, Today, if you will hear His voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion, in the day of trial in the wilderness. Today, because we hear the word of God, which means we hear the voice of the Holy Spirit, the word of God says, do not harden your hearts. But how can a human being harden their heart? The word of God that says, do not harden your heart. That means we must live in the word of God. But when we are not in the word of God, anointing will not come upon us. When you live in sin, your heart hardens up towards that sin. And you become used to sin. That becomes a personality in you. And you cannot come out of that personality. What is that personality? The demons have bound you in that sin. But we could say that's a personality that I have. But you are bound by those demons in you. You must pray to be delivered of that. It's possible that you pray and that you read the Bible. It's also possible that you minister, you are a minister, or you could be a pastor. But beloved, you are bound in something. Today is the perfect moment and perfect time for you to renew your oath before the Lord. And it should not be that the Lord arrives and you are still bound on earth. Because the Bible says some must stay when the rapture happens. But it is not the will of God for you to stay. In Hosiah we read and saw that the Lord called. The Lord made righteous. The Lord sanctified and forgave your sins. But those people went back to their old ways and old life. Today, you hear the word of God. It is an incredible day for you today. It should not be that you teach many others. But towards yourself, you are not proper. I just want to encourage you today. So that in heaven, we may be there together. 
Let us come and see those things that are unpleasing to the Holy Spirit. But it's pleasing to our body. It's pleasing to our eyes. It's pleasing to our ears. And it's pleasing to our mouth. It's pleasing to our tongue. We must let go of these things. Jesus did not love his life on earth. As in, he, he didn't say to the Father, Father, I don't want to go up on the cross. But on the contrary, he sacrificed his own life for us. So that we may have life and life more abundant. And what did God do to him? He gave him a resurrected body with, with glory. And he sat him down on his right hand. He gave him the power over all dominion and all authority. And he gave him a name which is above all names. For Jesus Christ, that at the name of Jesus Christ, on heaven and on earth and beneath the earth, everyone obeys that name. And in the name of Jesus Christ is the glory and the power and the healing. In Proverbs chapter 8, verses 17 and 18. In modas harasutun u park, and give artarutunga. Իմ պատուգս ոսկի են ու մաքուր ոսկի են եւ իմ արդյունքս ընդիր արծաթեն աղեգ է ճանապարհում են ես արդարության ճանապարհների մեջ իրավունքի շավիղների մեջ կկայլեմ որբիսի ձիս սիրողներուն ստացվածքը ժառանգեցնեմ ու անոնց գանձերը պիտի լեսնեմ ինչ է քսաներ Proverbs 8 verses 18 to 21 17 to 21 I love those who love me, and those who seek me diligently will find me. Riches and honor are with me, enduring riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, yes, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. I traverse the way of righteousness in the midst of the paths of justice, that I may cause those who love me to inherit wealth that I may fill their treasuries. The Lord says, I love those who love me. And those who seek me early will find me. In all times and in all places, always seek the face of the Lord. The Lord says there is riches and honor with me and revenue. There is riches and honor and revenue with me, the Lord says. He says my fruit is better than gold and better than silver. And where is it that we can find the Lord? I say, Kasane or Toski match here in verse 20. Asume yes, Artarutian Janapari matchen. He says, Yamunki Shavi Neri match Kailen. He says, I traverse the way of the righteous in the midst of the paths of justice. Shate Dagger Gire. This is very interesting. Would be this Siro Neri Staspaska Janan gets an end, Yemnerans Ashtemara Nere. Let's name Vera Narvera. That I may cause those who love me to inherit wealth, that I may fill their treasuries. Women, 
so that we must follow the word of God the intent of our life must be only Jesus Christ and we must walk in the way of righteousness in order for us to have a meeting with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ today the Lord waits just as I said earlier behind the door of your heart and he knocks he says open the door my beloved in the same way it says in Proverbs my beloved it says when I heard the voice of my love I put my hand on the door now the Bible says that there was an anointing that came upon me. I was in gladness and joy. But it says, when I opened the door, I didn't see the Lord. And what did I do? I began to look. Let us come and see today. We have need of this fresh anointing. Do you know why? So that your anointing and your ministry in the house of the Lord may rise. In that time, people from far off countries will come to visit you because they will hear of that anointing that you have upon you today the Lord wants to raise you in your ministry be faithful with Jesus Christ in the same way that Jesus was faithful to the Father he sacrificed his life for our salvation. We think that Jesus had need of nothing. But he had need of us. The Bible says that God loved the world so much. And by this we understand how his love was towards us. That he sacrificed his life for our salvation. And for that, I want to say again, he yes. had need of us. And what was that need? He wanted us to be before him as his sons and daughters. Today, our Heavenly Father is happy because of the work that His Son did on earth. Because God has created palaces for us in heaven. And on every palace, one of our names is written. In that place we can enter. By the honorable blood of Jesus Christ. By obeying the word of God. And by taking our souls in the word of God and forward. Come and let us today in our ministry. Glorify Jesus Christ. And not represent ourselves. In John chapter 5 verses 45. The following is said to us. That's John chapter 5, verses 44. How can you believe who receive honor from one another and do not seek the honor that comes from the only God? 
He says, how can you believe? When you expect honor and glory from humans. When you receive honor from one another. That means that you represent yourself. You represent your own ministry. This means that you magnify and glorify yourself. It's possible that through the word you represent the Lord. But through your life you represent yourself. And that's why the word of God says how can you believe when you look for honor through each other let us come and see today as to who we are we are soil we are sinful people but it's the the grace of God he has called us for salvation and today God says that you for me are a kingly vessel in my hands if you stay in the word of God in the hands of God but if you do not stay in the hands of God you can see that the Lord will lead you to the side. And we will give account for our lives. I saw there a you Today the Lord loves you. I saw there a China So that you may be straightened. This is what I mean when I say he doesn't look at your faults. But if the Lord looks at every single fault and if he wants to judge us, we cannot stand before him. Today it's the tremendous mercy of God that the Lord doesn't recompense us according to our sins. He is love. God is love. Let us not be different towards that sin. And in Romans in Romans chapter 2 it says that the love and the the mindfulness of God do not look past it because that leads you to repentance and what a loving God we have what a God that loves us that he loves us and he waits for us to walk in those paths of righteousness in those ways of the Lord we should not look at our past but we should look forward to Jesus Christ come and let us renew our oath today and let us renew our sacrifice and, and, Lord. and say Lord I am ready from this day on, I enter into an oath with you through faith. Lord, I surrender my life to you. Help me to walk with you in faithfulness. In Joshua, Chapter 24. That should be the last chapter of Joshua. From verse 15. This verse is very evident for most of you. Joshua says like this. And if it seems evil to, to you to serve the Lord. Choose for yourself. 
o umbete başte this day whom you will serve gedi aingoma zovi aingoma amoratot asvasnere whether the gods which your father served voron zergri mejduk banagum eik that were on the other side of the river bet yesuim andanike and in those lands who dwell dedi ovaine başteli but my, me and my house will serve the lord anik aitur ais hamarov ampopeng let us complete our lesson today with this yevasek diroche and say to the Jish, lord yesui nama in the same way as joshua yesevi mandanike my house and i zaraerem hisus kristosi will serve jesus christ in gangum hin baner ansa in my life all old things have passed i sorvani sim gangum amenich nor elin and from this day on everything in my life will be new ich pes orinak men tedere yeporter dumen in the same way that we uh, turn the pages of men nor echen tesum we see a new page bori vera moch mi gerutyun chika that has no writing on it yet yege gaitor men gang ais pes Toglini Jesus. Let our life be like this towards Jesus. Nor each bats we may gang. A new page will be opened in our life. Bur bisi asbats mezar we may gang. So that the Lord may be magnified in our life. Dere gang chenekes. The Lord has called you. Asbats kez mezar elkan meche gang natsere. God has raised you in a great ministry. Yebraisneri mech dasnere kelki mech hedevian ne asu. In Hebrews chapter 3 it says the following. Du vor pes hobi you as a pastor Kam zara yo boy vitse zara yo yegeretsu mech or whatever minister you are in church Na mana vat hoyneri hamare especially for those who are pastors Pas me du patas khanadu es ko anzin It says that you are responsible for yourself Ko andanikin for your family Yevan voch hodin and for the whole flock Amen mi hoku amar du patas khanadu es You are responsible for every soul I sort mutasi rait masin Think upon these things Դրա համար եկեք անոնությունը ավենք That's why come and let us forget Մերկիս փախչենք and run away from sin Եվ բնենք մեր տեր եւ փրջին վեշերը եւ քայլենք դրոց ճանապարհների մեջ And let us grab the clothing of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ Ինչպես օրինակով ասի որ Ահարոնի վրա յուղը ձորում է In the same way I said that the oil flowed on Aaron Եվ նա քայլում էր յուղը հետ կերեր կողը When he walked those oil marks showed Եբ որ յուղը իր վրա գար նա հոսում էր յուղը when the oil came upon him it would flow down Հիսուսի վրա եղած յուղը the oil the anointing որի կոչի վրա էս հոսում է մինչև զգեստների ծայրը that flows from his head all the way down to his clothing նա չի գանում ոչ մի անգամ it never stops եթե մեր վրա յուղ ածեն when they uh, drop flow Oil on us. Mikani meter vor kainen yugo ganain vor verchatsa mer varai. A few meters on we'll see that the oil is finished. Vai spiroch yuga ir varais an tatar vasum e mer bolori vara. But the oil of the Lord constantly flows from him. I saw as vat uzum e kes sur hoku yugo otsi. That's why today the Lord wants to anoint you with the Holy Spirit. Ye kot zarayutuna lini vor sur hoku vor pogvat. And your ministry will be tremendously changed by the holy spirit Martik desen u kez asen and people will look and see Ich pese vor komot ais pisi zarayutyun ga How is it that there is a ministry like this with you Ich pese vor kot zarayutyan mech mez hrashtner e qatargum How is it that great miracles happen through your ministry Borovede du because you Diroch het matermutyun es hastatel have a close relationship with the lord Vor jamere nvirer es diroche you have devoted your times to the lord yev diroch het nu megatseles and you have become one with the lord amusinner yev vor amusnanum en irar het zuyker enagadi unem when couples get married with each other zurdin nasum en nerak ayr yev gin linum en mek marmi the bible says that husband and wife become one flesh mek aitor aitpes diroch het petke meganan in that same way we must be one with the lord Es asoch oskim according to the bible Men diroch yegeretsin ek we are the church of god Men hasnatsun ek hasnen we are the bride Is pesan Jesus Christosn ek but the bridegroom is Jesus Christ Ich pes amusinnere meganum ek in the same way that the couples become one I pes aisor men petke meganak mer phrchin Jesus Christosi ek vor mer pesatsun ek in that same way we must be one with Jesus Christ who is our husband 
God bless you in Jesus' name. We're thankful that you listen to us in peace. And we give the praise of this word to Jesus Christ. Because the Lord put this word in my heart to speak to you today. We're thankful for every single one of you. We bless you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let us humble, humble ourselves before the Lord and pray. If you have a sickness or pain, Right now, I ask that you put your hands on the sick and believe that it's the Lord who heals you. Heavenly Father, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your people. For those who come before you by faith, Heavenly Father, right now your heavenly hands are those who have pain and suffering and different weaknesses and different pains. I pray by faith for your people. I release your healing. Let every sickness be broken. Every unsuccessfulness be broken. Every sin come out. Every bondage be broken in Jesus. Every curse be broken in Jesus. Every dynamic battle. Be, battle be broken in Jesus name. Amen, be divine ush. Amen, be mer. And all demons' power we break and the sin we break. Hotel, and by prayer we cover them. I proclaim the blood of Jesus Christ on you guys. Lord, let them be healed spiritually and physically. In Jesus' name. I pray for the peace of the world. And all the kings of the world. All the rulers. All those who are doctors. And the judges and lawyers. So that they may all be moved by your spirit and your I pray for the United States. For the President Trump and all those rulers. So that by your word they may move forward. We pray for the awakening of and for Iran. And for the awakening of Georgia and Azerbaijan. For their rulers and their kings, we pray, Lord. So their hearts may be open. And they may recognize the truth. Which is we pray for Armenia. Anoint our president and our chancellor. And the rulers of our land. The doctors, the judges and lawyers, Lord, keep our army and extend our land for our brothers and our sisters. Let them be a tool in your hand, Lord, so that they may come out of our country and, and there may be a great awakening in the world. We pray for the pastors and the ministers. We bless them in Jesus' name. We give the glory and the power to our Lord. And we magnify and glorify our Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God be with you.